So the first thing we need to do is we need to uncover the wiring from the existing term rack. We need to remove the power cables, which will allow us to eventually remove the Provox term panel from the cabinet. And then what we want to do is, pair for pair, we want to take our I.O. and we want to move it down to the Charms I.O. rack. Now what we're going to do is, because there's 24 Charms in a Charm I.O. rack and only 16 channels in Provox, we're actually going to start from the far right position and move our way over to the left. That way, when we come to our next turn panel, we'd be able to continue from that point, and then when we remove this panel from another Charms I.O. rack, we'd be able to continue on this rack. That way it keeps all of our I.O. in sequence um, as it was when it was removed from Provox, so that when we migrate the I.O. database through our bulk import tools, it'll make it easier to accomplish that. So, one of the uh, things that's probably convenient is to try and unbundle all of our wires um, out of our rack to make it easy to get to. And once we do that, as I said, we're going to start from this end. So I will remove one pair of termination wires at a time. And I'm going to take those wires, I'm going to unbundle them. And if I had to uh, untape them, I'd untape them as necessary. In this case, I have enough room. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to then start terminating these in my charms I rack. Now, um, in this case, we use the bottom two terminals. fasten. As part of the process, we probably want to note that all the wires are duly tagged and possibly even have an apprentice work with us to keep a paper list of all the wiring that was moved from one position to the other so that we have a record for validation of each terminal screw that's been moved down. Because this wire has not been disturbed at the field end, um, we may find that we can reduce our testing effort because there really was no field termination out in the field that was modified at that point. Okay, so that's our first 12. And now we're down to our last four IO connections. For this particular project, we're all actually going to make a recommendation to remove all the Provox power supplies from the cabinets, so in essence we really would have additional space at the bottom here to um, actually start a turn panel lower if we found the need to do that. In actuality, once we get to the first two panels, we're going to start getting to the point where we'll have fewer charms racks than we will turn panels since the charms do uh, accommodate 24 I.O. Um, and Provox accommodated anywhere between 8 and 16 depending on signal type. Most signal types were 16 uh, analog outputs and pulses were 8. Again, if our next panel to be terminated 
were an analog output panel, we'd be able to start our analog outputs um, with the remaining channels in this charm holder because of the single point I.O. capabilities of the charms technology. Okay, so we have all of our wires terminated. Now what we would do is we would take our, in this case, inch and a half cable tray. Provox uh, was delivered with one inch cable trays. You'll see that the form factor here does allow us to put the inch and a half cable tray in. Um, we feel that's a good idea since we are talking about a maximum of 24 pairs uh, per horizontal row versus the 16 on Provox. The slightly larger and deeper cable tray, this cable tray is actually a standard Provox issue and, and is still available as part of our charms migration. So it recesses a bit in between the rails and this allows us um, to have a little more capacity uh, for the 24 conductors, 24 pairs, I should say. Um, that would be accommodated by a charms rack. So at that point, we can start tucking our wires into that cable tray. Installation of all of our field wiring. So once that we tuck this through, we've now terminated our field wires, and of course. There's still room in our tray um, from left to right to be able to accommodate the additional wires in there. So that really concludes the migration of one turn panel down. Um, at this point, this turn panel from Provox can be removed. 